I don't actually know what specifically got me wanting to do this hunt all of a sudden, but it was a comment or a Discord PM or something I saw somewhere where someone mentioned getting a Diamond Lynx, and I just kind of decided I really want to get one. I thought we'd go for that. We'll probably do like a straight up predator hunt, so maybe we'll go to Leighton or Hirschfeld or Yukon and look for some other stuff at night as well, but I like Medved uh, for night hunting especially since it's got the snow and it's so bright. Just makes it a little easier, especially for videos, but this dude should slow down. And I really like that you can use the Mosin on them. I actually didn't know that until right before I started this video, I decided to look in the codex, and Lynx do in fact... Uh, get integrity with weapon class 3 ammo, so we can use that. I just like the Mosin better than 243. I really prefer it for longer shots, which, of course, Medved having these huge lakes, uh, we should have plenty of opportunities for that. But yeah, we're starting up here uh, in this area, mainly because I want to clear this pressure a bit before we go down into there, but this is one of the lakes I've killed a Diamond Lynx on, so fingers crossed maybe that can be something we get today. And there is that multi-mount. There's a two Lynx multi-mount. I'd love to get, quite honestly, I think ideally I want a diamond male and a rare female, but any combination of like rares and stuff like that would be cool, but got another level six. I think the reason they're walking across the ice right now is I just switched the time a couple of minutes ago and they're actually heading to their drink zones. So I do wish like that I was getting their zones now, but since they're not in them, that's not working. I think I shot too high on that one, but we got something good enough to bring him down on the second shot, so hopefully that gets us the full score. So that's high bleed rate, not vital hit blood. Not sure what we did. I hear another Lynx. We actually got vertebrae and pelvis and stuff, and actually that was enough to bring it down quickly, but there's another Lynx in here somewhere. I would guess it's probably a female or a small male. Yeah, it is a male. I think because it's in such a thick area, I may just go in here and try to find its track. If it's not heavy, I'm not going to worry about it. If it's that 35 to 45 estimate, then obviously we need to find it, but just because they're really slow and difficult to see, I think it's best we just check the track. But this was not my intention, but I decided to run all the way over here just to confirm he's not a rare. And he isn't. But came all the way over here. Figured we'd get him. I don't think we got a vital, but I guess respawns and stuff. Really, I just wanted to find his disturbed veg, but he didn't leave any, so at this point I figured I'd just shoot him since I got over here. But actually, it's a good thing in general, just not only for respawns, but killing stuff and getting rid of hunting pressure so we can go down to that area. Because it seems quite common that big links end up down there, like sevens and eights. Can't say I've seen a nine, but hopefully that'll change today. That's actually maybe a diamond reindeer. I don't actually know for certain with the reindeer, but I know caribou, uh, some level fours are making diamond, and he does have that higher estimate. And regardless, I'm going to want him for respawns. But I'm not seeing many more links down at this end anyway. And actually, going back to the same thing from earlier, shooting him would be probably a good idea just simply because that will give us uh, a little less pressure down there in the south, so... I don't know if I can manage to spot him. There we go. And I think he's in the 200 area. I don't know if that was a hard shot or what, but I'll take that. But he's really close. He's 398, you need 400.3. So yeah, these ones definitely could be just the very bottom of the heart and double lung. That's not bad. Not going to mount him, because he's not a diamond. And honestly, I'm just looking for those weird diamond racks that we're sometimes getting with the new scoring system. But I don't know enough about this lake with Link's Drink Zones to know if it's worth, like, going over here. I think I'll run just till I'm, like, 350 or whatever so I can know, because I know reindeer drink on that edge, and a lot of times where one species drinks another will, so we'll check that, and then probably head south. Ooh, hello. Okay, so just to clarify what I just did, I ended up not going south. I actually went to the north, and the reason is my first diamond lynx was at this lake. So I thought I'd come up here and see if there were any lynx drinking here. Honestly, for hunting pressure reasons, pretty much exclusively. Like, I didn't really care if there were going to be any big lynx. I just wanted to try to clear a little extra pressure. 
Now, that's a huge one. That's a really big diamond on the old system. I don't know what this is going to do on the new system, and I'm very scared. I really want that guy to make it, because he's got a, a really nice rack. He's got those flat uh, back tines. I don't see any links, but yeah, that's cool. Now, I've been carrying the bow around for a lot of stuff. I'd probably go for a bow shot, but the wind is just not really going to let that happen. I do think I'm going to try to call him out onto the ice, though, just so we can uh, be sure we get a good shot with the 7 mil. And maybe just since we're night hunting, I will actually switch and put the night scope on the 7 mil, just for a little added fun with the night vision equipment. Oh, there's actually a lynx over there. I think they tend to drink by themselves, but might try to get that after. But yeah, no doubt that's 990 plus on the old system. I'm very worried about what's going to happen now. But it is now. And we're going to have to see what he does. Man, like you compare to this level 3, he's just huge and he's alert there. Just take him. Tried to get a hard shot, didn't get it. I had a minor little panic when he didn't drop, but we certainly got into a lung, so we should be absolutely fine. And what the heck? That lynx didn't go anywhere fast. Let's see if we can get her. We hit something good. I don't know what, but a little more pressure cleared for down there. It's starting to look pretty decent. I still want to hit these other two lakes since I came up here. But yeah, that got real interesting real fast. Now, what I've seen with some of the other true rack species that are kind of like broken like this because the reindeer and caribou are definitely still slightly broken the biggest of them still made it and I just gotta really hope that's what this guy's gonna do yes 458 oh my god he's max weight <laughs> so he could have been a 1000 on the old system there's no true max trophy rating the high estimate is I think 438 he's 458 so, like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what they do, but he's a huge diamond regardless. New system or old system. And we got him because we went out night hunting for lynx. What the heck? You know, interesting that that happened. You may recall the choose your own adventure um, hunt that we did a while back. And if you chose the path with the diamond reindeer, that was shot up here at night, like the late drinking zone. So just interesting, maybe this is like an area where large reindeer like to spawn. I think those are the only two diamonds I've ever killed. But uh, extra links on our way. We'll check these two lakes and wow. That made the hunt for me. I still wanna find a good links, but that was a heck of a kill. That's a maybe diamond as well. This is actually one of the ones that I wanna get a diamond on with those cool backs. But I'm just realizing how much more lucky that Diamond Ranger we just shot was. Because these guys are leaving their zone. They're just done drinking, and we just timed that so accidentally perfectly. It's insane. But, that's that guy. We'll go see if that's maybe a diamond as well. I certainly knew that Reindeer would be drinking while we were out here night hunting Lynx, but... The last thing I expected was to run into a bunch of potential diamonds. Like, I've hit my medved pretty good looking for them. Apparently the solution was just to go out at night, because all the ones that I'm looking for have been here. But, yeah, I don't know about these. Some of them seem to be really close to diamonds. Some of them seem to be not even remotely close. So, who knows what we're going to see on this. Yeah, he's only 347. But, uh, nice looking reindeer anyway. So, yeah. That's those three lakes. I think we'll head down south now. Like, even if we shoot one lynx here, we shouldn't be deleting zones, which I think I did at one point with that pressure, but I think we can get them back. It actually doesn't look like there's any lynx down here anyway, which I guess ultimately is kind of a good thing. We'll check these tracks, but there are zones back here at this little hidden lake, and I know lynx will drink there too, so maybe any that kind of hang out in this area drink back there. Looks like we're giving that a shot, because none of these are Lynx tracks. 
Man. Four females of this lake. I spooked those other two. And, uh, this is the only one left. I have really not done well hitting these guys in the vitals. Yeah, that might have been. But, yeah. This is usually an area where you see some pretty big links and there's none, so... Maybe this lake will have a lot of them. I know I have seen, like, certain servers have a ton of links down there, too, so we'll see. Nah, intestine invertebrate again. Apparently the Mosin's just slightly overpowered for these things. But, I can see a bear. We'll just spot that super quick. Decent, but not gonna worry about that. We'll head to this lake and see what's drinking there, and then... I actually don't know, like, if links drink here or... This is the other hidden lake. So... We'll probably check those two and then maybe try one of the other maps for another predator species. Alright, at least that's a male. Improvement on anything that we've had recently. None of these are special, so I think we'll get that. The nice thing about Lynx is they run so slowly that even if we do spook other ones, which we totally did, we can just get them. Or at least hopefully get them. I've not done a great job of shooting today, but maybe one of these shots are actually going to be a vital hit. Got one out there that's nervous, I guess I spooked. There's a three, two, there are links everywhere here, but none of them are good. That's at least a male, I guess we'll shoot that, because ultimately, like, if I'm going to do respawns, the ones that I would want to respawn would be male, so we can get, like, a rare for the multi-mount, although actually... Links are one of the few where you can have both male and female on that one. So maybe it would make sense to get as many as we can. I think if we shoot the far left one over here, that level 4 male. The other shouldn't be spooking. There's a male up there too, though. Hmm. We'll check tracks. Because I think we want to kill as many of these as we can. That's definitely going to be a vital hit. The nice thing is I don't think I have any pressure on this lake. So we're kind of good to just shoot away. Try to get this one. I think that's going to be 300-ish as well. Not sure I got a vital. I don't think I did. The angle felt like a little bit weird. I do think it'll kill it. But... Maybe that can help that out a little. So we spooked that one. I think the other one's still standing there, though. Yeah, it's still there. I really cannot hit their vitals today. I don't know where they are. Nope. Got that. I think only the one didn't get shot. Not anymore. Honestly, I would use the 7mm and just kill it, but this scope is not going to be good for that. No idea if I hit it. But, whatever this way, we got this level 6 to claim. And then, probably a bunch of track and, and links claiming to do, but... Should be quite good for respawns. And even still messed that one up. Shot it in the stomach. I think it must have taken, like, a step forward as we shot, because it looks like it's passing through the lung, but... The, uh like, bullet indicator kind of shows where the animal was and not their momentum, I think. So that's sort of why it looks like we had that in the lung. That is not the male that we had warning call. Starting to figure out where their lungs are. So I gotta find that track still. Yeah, there it is. So he's not a big one. He's 26 to 35 kilos. So I won't worry about that. I think we probably shot all but one lynx on this entire lake, which none of them were big, so like the whole respawn theory we have, I wouldn't expect any of them to come back as diamonds, but you never know. And of course, anything we could get for rares would be nice. That was actually a nice little heart shot. I actually wasn't thinking when we shot these. I did delete a zone over here, but I'm not too worried about that. I think probably when you're trying to grind a particular species for respawns. This is just my opinion, but I would think uh, getting the numbers 
shot for respawns is more important than the zone. But yeah, at least that was a, a vital hit on that last one, and I think this one should be as well. Stomach liver, barely, but liver will count. And then we had two run off. I'm gonna have to try to figure out where they were. Actually, one's dead there, so that's gonna help out a lot. And then the other one was that level one, which I think got back right there. All right, that was easy. So that was royally messed up. Way low, and then low and probably a little forward too. But got it dead, which was the important part. Then we have this one, which I'm actually surprised the Mosin didn't reach any further than that. Interesting pose we shot her in. But again, main thing is getting them killed. So this little lake here actually does tend to have like a lot of brown bears drinking and I don't know if that means anything for Lynx, but we'll give it a quick look. Well, I think that's actually the one we spooked. Some ammo may be useful right about now, but I mean, again, kind of a numbers thing. We just want to kill as many as we can. I can see her feet moving around in there. I think she's facing us. Alright, nice. Pretty sure we officially killed every lynx at that last lake, except for the one male that we just had the tracks of. And even got a vital hit on that one, so we're gonna go check that... No, we're not. <laughs> I was gonna say we were gonna go check that lake, but I guess we'll do that after we restart the game. Alright, so that's the female lynx that I have a track of. I think that's a musk deer track there. I'm trying to have an idea of how many lynx to look for, but I bet she'll just run across the ice. Hopefully that's what she'll do and make life easier. Actually, there's a male doing it. Which is nice, because we haven't had a whole lot of them. And that is going to be the female. Now the thing is, we're going to have to turn our light off, because the like fog or whatever you want to call it really gets in the way. I still can't get the lungs. I tried so hard to keep that far forward. It's just nothing I can aim for there. Ah, that hit him. He turned just slightly, and I figured I'd give it a shot. But, again, I need them dead. I don't need the score when they're small. Now, where did that female get to? We know they don't run fast. So she's probably still around here somewhere. But I'm not really seeing her, so I think we may just settle for our mail. And just be happy that we got another mail. And you know, the unfortunate thing is, we actually would have came in from this side, had the game not crashed, and maybe could have just seen him drinking over there instead of having to spook him out of his zone just to see him. But again, ultimately, not seeing any big ones. The main goal is to just get a bunch of them dead and hope they respawn as rares or maybe diamonds, but yeah. I'm actually thinking I'm going to make this into a two-part video because I just looked at my uh, latest harvest and we shot a ton of stuff. So I think for the next one, we're going to head to probably Yukon. I'm kind of thinking of doing a fox and wolf hunt. I think that could be interesting, but we'll have to see what we can run into doing that and uh, try to hunt them during their drink zones. But this little piggy seems like he should be shot. Probably not with a bow. That's not exactly what I meant to do. But... Use the night vision scope. Shoot him accidentally in the intestines and, uh... Would have gotten quick kill if it was still working that way. But maybe we got the liver. Yeah, we actually did. Got the full bonus then, but yeah. We have a reindeer to put in the lodge, so let's head back and get him in there. So actually, we have three diamond reindeer now. And I want to put together a diamond reindeer multi-mount because I've never done that. I've only done, like, with rares and stuff. Where is that at? Is that closer to the top? Yeah. So we have three diamonds, all similar size, and I think they all should have been legit diamonds on the old system as well, which is nice. But throw that up there. They all actually do have unique antlers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they do, which is really cool. Can I get the big one in the middle, though? I may have to change the order that I put them in there, but actually that's got the big one closest to the door. Maybe I like that anyway, but just to uh, to show what I'm talking about with the unique antlers. 
the most obvious thing is these back tines. You see how much more massive these are? This guy's got just like skinnier single tines. And this guy's kind of in between with some extra tines on them. So I like that. That actually completed a pretty cool looking multi-mount. All right, nice. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, we'll be doing a little more predator hunting. I don't know if that's going to be tomorrow or the next day, but in the next couple of days anyway, we're definitely going to uh, head out to the econ. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.